there are more cells that live in the gut than there are in the whole body. And there's actually more genes in the gut than there are in your genome. In recent years, there's been a real resurgence of research uh, into the gut microbiome and its effect on the immune response. And so my basic interest is in both how the uh, gut microbiota can influence the immune system and how the immune system can influence the gut microbiota. The gut microbiota are uh, basically all of the bacteria, viruses, fungi that live in the intestine. So the major connection um, between the, especially the intestinal microbiota and cancer is that there's a strong link between cancer and inflammation. So for example, there's um, a higher rate of development of colorectal cancer in um, patients with inflammatory bowel diseases. So one thing that this kind of research can tell us is potentially um, how to actually prevent the development of cancer in the first place. Intestinal epithelium is really interesting because it forms kind of the first barrier between the host, like us, and the tens of trillions of commensal bacteria that are in the gut at all times. And I am focused on uh, investigating receptors that are expressed on intestinal epithelial cells and trying to determine how those receptors can help the immune system distinguish between good and bad bacteria. Uh, because when that goes awry, uh, it can lead to things like inflammatory bowel disease and cancer. So we know that inflammation plays a really key part in the transformation process during epithelial cancers like uh, cancer of the colon and digestive tract. And what we're trying to understand is, is what are actually the, the signaling mechanisms that uh, contribute to that. You know, there's lots more things to be discovered in the realm of colorectal cancer. I think the microbiota is a whole unexplored field, and I would love to keep investigating that. You know, even how therapies work for people can be probably, you know, importantly dictated by their different microbial composition. Right now is a really, really exciting time to be um, in the area of, of cancer immunotherapy, um, at, or at least n near it. Just from a more basic perspective, I think that we're going to start to see a much deeper understanding of how, you know, the genes that are in these microbes that live in us, than all of us, you know, are, are influencing how our cells work just as much as our, our own genes are. And so I think this is probably the area where we're going to learn the most and we're going to have the most exciting insights over the next, the next few years.